How's it going, everybody? This is RBT bringing you the introduction to my new NCAA football series. This is just going to be a dynasty, a dynasty where I try to rebuild a very, very bad team, and you'll see what team I pick in a second. That's just an, a dynasty that I have offline. But here to see me create a new coach. And in this episode, I'm just going to show you the preseason activities, uh, show you my recruiting board, and my depth chart of the team that I pick, and the schedule I'm going to be playing and whatnot. And then this probably won't be a set date I'm going to upload. I'll probably upload it maybe twice a week. I already recorded the first week of it too, but I'm going to save that for another video. And here you just see me creating my coach. And I think you already saw the offense that I picked. It's an offense that I, or a playbook that I made. It's called the Browning offense. And this shows just like what I'm playing on Heisman and six minute quarters and everything. It's a Browning offense, but I run about 60% of the time. And I uh, run a lot, and I just turn turn the ball over, and you'll see how I play. Um, see how I play in CA football. I uh, don't turn the ball over too much. I run the ball, control the clock, and play pretty good defense. And as you saw, I just click begin dynasty. But like I said, it's on Heisman and whatnot, six minute quarters, so it's gonna be very tough. And I go to a one star program. I'm trying to see what teams to pick. I'm trying to really pick out what is the worst team and most attractive team. I really, really wanted to do Western Kentucky, but they were actually over an 80 overall, so I did not want to do that, and I keep looking around. I kind of was maybe going to do Army, but then in the end, the worst team is the Memphis Tigers, so I decided to go with Memphis Tigers, so I'm going to be the head coach of Memphis, and that's what team I'm going to be using in this new Dynasty series, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it can be very, very tough. It's hard enough playing on Heisman with a good team, much less a bad team like this. So don't be surprised if I lose a few games because Memphis is god-awful. This is just showing the, my recruiting board when I skip to recruiting. And I always turn off all the assistants off because that's so annoying. And here I, I search first interest of prospects for, for Memphis. And, God, that's that's garbage, man. I have two two-stars and the rest are one-stars. I only end up putting five of these on my board just to have – some certainty of prospects that I'm recruiting. And the bottom two were under 50, so I was like, nah. The only reason I put that safety on there is if you didn't see, he was a se he was six seven and he was a safety, so that'd be interesting to see what he turns into. But this is just showing my recruiting board that I ended up getting. Uh, this is all the prospects that I did. I think I just searched prospects in Tennessee and picked out what prospects would fit my program and whatnot and what offense I run and added them to the board. And now I'm just going through and red shirt and players. That's the strategy I use with with bad teams when I'm playing dynasties. I make sure that I red shirt a lot of players, and I'm not talking about the players that are on my team right now. Because I think in a second I should actually show you the depth chart. But like I said, recruiting is going to be hard to do. Because I mean Memphis is not an attractive program by any means. It's best just to try to recruit in state with that because you always have a promise that you can promise an in state game or a game in their home state. So. That's always a plus of recruiting in-state prospects. And hopefully I'll get a few of them that will help my team going forward. And uh, this is, I think, showing... Is this showing um, the depth chart now? Yeah, I think it's just showing the depth chart. Or this is still redshirt players, my bad. But sometimes you'll see me redshirt a junior rather than a freshman, but that's only the case if there's really not a lot of depth at a certain position. And here I think I'm going to show you the, or I'm going to schedule first. Just showing you the schedule I'm going to play. Yes, I'm keeping FCS on my schedule because I promise you I do not know how many games I'm going to win this year. i got to have one guaranteed game just to figure out who's good on my team, what can I run, and just a, a little preview on how my team is. So I am going to keep that on my schedule. It's going to be very hard to win against teams like that. And here you see my quarterback. On uh, my quarterbacks on my team, both 71 overall. Didn't know who to put at starter. Um, I put Will Gr Girlcrest at starter because he's a 79 speed, and I need kind of a fast quarterback with your offense that I run. Here's showing the running backs in my offense. I have 273 overalls. Fullback, not good. Wide receiver, impact player, 75 overall. Tight end. Uh, my lineman range from like my, my, my best lineman to the 75, and it goes to like a 68 or something, so not a good... Offensive line, defensive line is about the same. My players range. My, most of my starters are around 70 overall, if not a little bit lower. That is the best player on my team right there, 78 overall. Well, actually, a skill position player. My my 
best players, like my punter, I think is 85 overall. My corners are garbage, <laughs> under 70. So is my my whole entire secondary thinks under 70. Yeah, 63 overall, strong safety. That's not good. But there's my punter. He's at 85 overall. And I think this is about to come to an end. So I'll see you guys soon, the next few days. This is to show my coach philosophy or whatever. See you guys in the next few days. And I'll be uploading my week one of this series against FCS East, I believe. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're looking forward to this series. Comment below. Leave this a like. And as always, roll tight, go socks, and go tight. And see you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss one of these episodes and any other of my videos. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you later.